hello hello and welcome back to another video in this one we're going to be taking a look at the latest arrival we've got the 9th and 10th doctors wide slider aztec sonic screwdriver uh, this replica is from the guys at little shop props if you hadn't guessed already and yeah this is my third screwdriver from them and it's another beauty another beauty so the wide slider was used by Christopher Eccleston's Ninth Doctor in series one of Doctor Who. And it was also used by David Tennant's 10th Doctor in series two of Doctor Who, uh, which is cool. So yes, um, I actually should have got two of them. I, I kind of regret not buying uh, a second one so they could have one each. Uh, but for now, you know, they're, they're gonna have to share this one, which is, you know, what they did anyway. So yes, so it comes in this box here. <laughs> this little little box from Little Shop Props. And inside the box, obviously the screwdriver's in there, the stand's in there, get this little business card. And we also get the documents here, which just tell you a bit about the screwdriver, the sonic screwdriver replica, and the batteries and the pain and etc. etc. which we're not really gonna look at because we don't need to. Uh, also in the box, you get uh, some tape which obviously these this has uh, these this parts of the stand attached to it and under here we've got some little grub screws here which you can just about see uh, you can change them out for the series 2 version of the prop it's gonna be hard to focus but yeah basically just some grub screws there and if you want to have the series 2 variant put these screws in it and if you just want the Christopher Eccleston series 1 variant and just keep the screws in that it's got already. But uh, yeah, I haven't really messed with the screws uh, yet. I'll probably just leave it as it is. But yes, that's what comes in the box. So we can see, get this really cool stand and you can have the Sonic sitting upright or laying flat. This is a little shop props on there. Underneath, uh, we've got your edition number. So you can see this is the wide slider at number 14 which is cool. And this whole stand sort of resembles the 9th and 10th Doctor's TARDIS uh, floor, which is also pretty cool and sits in there rather nice. It's not gonna fall out of there, which is good. And you can also lay it flat. Not really sure how I'll have it yet, but uh, either way, it looks, looks pretty good. So uh, get a little business card. Just reminding you that it's the wide slider, uh, <laughs> which is cool. You can see a little crackle pattern in the uh, background of the business card there. Very nice, very nice. But of course, obviously well, we're all here to see the screwdriver itself. So let's take a look. Real nice uh, crackle paint on there. You can see the lovely wide slider. And the grub screws, you can see they're just uh, black. The other ones that you can change out for the series two, they have the crackle paint on there. So they would blend in a bit more. See the end cap. Yeah, the ridges are real nice on this. The paint's just excellent. You can see the micro switch, the micro button sticking out there. And I did, I did decide to go for the one with sound. I do have a few Sonics without sound and most of them I have sound with though, so. Quite a nice, just one noise, quite a nice noise. See the blue strip there. Moving up to the emitter head. See it's got a uh, rather large dome on this one, which is, is, is accurate to this version of the screwdriver. Nice blue LED. 
can see some machine marks that are on the emitter head there. If you can, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but a few machine marks, which is, well, it's okay. Also some marks on the end cap as well. Only a few, but just adds, adds to the Sonic, I think. Obviously the actual prop was quite battered anyway, especially by the end of series two. But yeah, it's got nice sliding action on there. Loud, especially when it's extended. Yeah, I don't really have too much to say because I didn't really expect it to be coming this soon. It was a nice surprise, but uh, just bring in the Sonic Compendium uh, Cream Aztec, which is obviously how this Sonic started out, I guess, before it was refurbished into the wide slider. But yeah, they look pretty good together. It'll be nice when uh, little shop props do their own version of the Colony Cream Aztec. That'll be cool, but for now, this one's, this one's pretty good. They look rather good together. Pretty similar. See, they're both very accurate. But yeah, very nice, very nice. Don't know, don't really know what else to say, really. Didn't really uh, plan on making this video yet, but I'm sure we'll take a look at this again in the future. Uh, we're gonna do a 9th and 10th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver collection video where we'll take a look at um, take a look at all the 9th and 10th Doctor Screwdrivers together, do a little comparison of them properly. Um, but yeah, just just really happy with this to be honest. I only got it yesterday, so haven't even found a place for it on the shelf yet. So I'll be doing that after this video. But yeah, pretty nice. I do kind of wish I'd got uh, a second one, just so I could have, um, you know, one with the black screws and then one with the crackle painted screws from series two. So I could have one for Chris and one for Dave. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm happy to even have one of them. I think there's only, uh, is it 30 of them, does it say? Does it say? Well, this is number 14. I think there's 30 of them, so. Yeah, I'm just really happy to have that in the collection, to be fair. And it goes really well with the Sonic Compendium's Aztec. So that's cool, yeah. Finally got some decent Sonics for the ninth Doctor. It's been a long time coming, really. And I'll be happy to get uh, a few more, maybe one more, one or two more. We'll see. We've got the grey Aztec to get, so I'm sure that will be the next one that we're going to be taking a look at. Uh, but yeah, like I said, you know, this is just a quick video. We will be taking another look at this at some point. But yeah, that's that's it for now, guys. I hope, you, uh, hope you've enjoyed. And I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.